let's have a little bit more fun with this same picture. Now remember that I had a selection on there that I used to select that border and take it to a uh, level, a layer of its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the frame for a second by clicking the eyeball, go back to my background layer, I'm going to call up my selection again, reselect, because it's still in memory, and I'm going to invert it so that it grabs the center part now of the image. And I'm going to, again, say new layer from selection copy. Now I have the spider also on its own layer, and I can do things to that. So I'm going to turn off the selection, deselect, I'm going to take this, again with the layer effects, I'm not going to put a shadow, drop shadow on it, because you wouldn't see it because it's below the frame layer, but I can do the 3D effects, which makes it sort of pop out, almost like a, uh, a little tile sitting inside of a frame which is kind of cool, and uh, we can tighten that up again a little bit, do this, we could use 3D effects if we want, but we could also turn that off and use bevel and emboss, bevel and emboss will allow you to kind of do something similar could even do a pillow emboss and really make it pop out like that. It gives it a little bit of a softer look to it. Uh, again, we can add uh, an outline if we want. We can add, turn that off and turn 3D effects back on. We can add some kind of color over top of it. A gradient color, let's say like this. And by changing the blend, the blend mode, we can do a lot of different things to make the picture look really interesting and different. You can set it back on normal and just take the opacity down, and that way it does that. But usually there's a blend mode that's pretty interesting. Like that, for instance, that's pretty creepy. And we'll say OK on that. And we'll say that's done.